What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Thursday, January 27th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments section who your favorite plays are for tonight's slate. And finally, shout out to Prize Picks for being the presenting sponsor of this video. Go to AwesomeO.com slash dash promo to get yourself one free month of AwesomeO Plus Platinum, a little bit of a deposit bonus, and some other goodies. Now, we're rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with Patrick Beverly, if he plays, Anthony Davis, Andrew Wiggins, D'Angelo Russell, and Steph Curry on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? It's time to find out. First up at number five, we got Joel Embiid, the center eligible, 11,400, projected for 56. The goal is 64, and he's in the optimal lineup 48% of the time. I'm giving him 33 minutes, 1.7 fantasy points per minute in this spot, 39% usage. He's been doing everything as of late. 31 points, 12 and a half rebounds, four assists, and two stocks in a pace up spot against the Lakers. I like it here. Obviously, you're super happy if Embiid gets the 64, but you probably only need high 50s, maybe even 60 to really get it done. The raw point ceiling for Embiid on a day like today, too much to ignore. Sticking with Philadelphia here at number four, teammate Tyrese Maxey, point guard, shooting guard, eligible 5,800, projected for 32. The goal is 39, and he is in the optimal lineup 51% of the time. Just playing massive minutes. I got him in for 38 minutes here, 30.85 uh, fantasy points per minute, 18% usage, 16 and a half points, five and a half assists, four boards, pace up spot again against the Lakers. Maxi actually crosses that threshold in the optimal lineup. 50% of the time, technically 51, so even slightly better than a coin flip. There's a lot to like here for Philadelphia in this matchup against the Lakers. Speaking of Philadelphia 76ers, Furkan Korkmaz is in at number three, shooting guard small forward eligible, 4,500, projected 27, goal 33 and a half. He's in the optimal lineup 51% of the time. I'm giving him 34 minutes. Danny Green potentially back, but they're still gonna be without Shake Milton. I'm assuming Korkmaz is still playing 30 plus minutes in this one, 0.8. Fantasy points per minute, 14 points, five boards, three assists, and a steal. Same matchup as before. So you're just going to get a lot of Sixers up at the top. And we haven't even gotten to the best one yet. But the best one isn't here in number two. That would be Anthony Edwards, shooting guard, small forward eligible, 7,300. Projected for 37. The goal is 46, and he is in the optimal lineup 53% of the time. 34 minutes for Edwards, loves to shoot the ball, 27% usage, 21.6 boards, three and a half assists, and two stocks. He's basically a 1.1 fantasy point per minute guy in this matchup. Might be getting Beverly back. It's pace neutral against Golden State, but it's also a Golden State team that's not nearly as good defensively when Draymond Green isn't out there. And on a two game slate, again, raw points matter. And there aren't too many guys on this slate that can go as crazy as Anthony Edwards. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments who your favorite plays are. And then finally, go check out Prize Picks, the presenting sponsor, awesomeo.com slash prizepicks dash promo. Your number one contender for today is $8,100 Tobias Harris. He is small forward, power forward eligible, projected for 42 and a half. The goal is just shy of 50, and he's in the optimal lineup 58% of the time. I'm giving him 36 minutes, 1.18 fantasy points per minute, 20 and a half points, almost a double-double, nine and a half rebounds and five assists, plus you get almost a steal and almost a block. We'll call it one and a half stocks. Again, a matchup against the Lakers is exceptional. We see that Anthony Davis is back, but he's still going to knock a little bit of the rust off. Uh, Russ being in at point guard for 30 plus minutes should make any team's defense be not all that great. This is an excellent time to grab the Philadelphia 76ers and in particular, number one contender Tobias Harris. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Thursday, January 27th. DraftKings version is around here somewhere. Check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. Back again tomorrow morning, closing out the work week with another edition of The Contenders.